we have been studying world history for years. It is now very different from what our ancestors studied 100 years ago, and it is certainly very different from what will be studied 100 years from now. However, there are such findings in our history that, instead of giving us answers about our past, make us ask ourselves even more questions and doubt what we studied in school and read in the thick books. Every day, history changes, and in this video, we will look at the most mysterious discoveries for which to this day scientists and researchers still cannot find answers. The Plain of Jars, Laos Scattered across the mountains of northern Laos in Siang Kuang province are huge stone jars, each weighing several tons. Jars are observed both individually and in groups of up to several hundred. In total, about 3,000 stone jars are scattered in 90 places in the province. Each of them is up to 3 meters high, and they are all carved out of rock, mostly sandstone, but there are also some of granite and limestone. All stone jars are decorated with boss relief. The stone structures are believed to be at least 2,000 years old. This makes this plain one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. The presence of a screw on the stone jars suggests that they had lids on top and were used for storage. Several theories have been put forward as to what may have been stored in them. They may have been used to ferment rice wine or collect rainwater during the monsoon season. There is even a slightly sinister theory that the jars were used for the distillation of dead bodies. The human remains found around the jars, such as bones and teeth, along with funerary objects and ceramics, suggest that these relics were most likely associated with prehistoric burial practices. A French archaeologist came across the site in 1930, but war and politics prevented excavations around the stone jars until 1994. During the Vietnam War, many of the jars were damaged by bombing. There are still tons of unexploded explosives left over after the war in the area, which slows down and complements the excavation work. The Mysterious Roman Dodecahedrons Many ancient inventions and mysterious objects bequeathed to us by ancient mechanics and engineers still cause controversy and doubts about their purpose. Among them are the Roman Dodecahedrons. They are small, hollow objects of bronze or stone with 12 flat pentagonal borders. We learned about them about 200 years ago, which is relatively recent in historical terms. But they were created approximately between the 2nd and 4th centuries, but became widely known only in the 19th century. They were found in Central and Northern Europe in places that could be said to have been the periphery of the Roman Empire. At the beginning of the 21st century, during archaeological activities, about a hundred of the unusual creations were discovered, mainly in Germany and France but also in Great Britain, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria, and Hungary. These lands were once part of the northern Roman provinces. The hollow structures made of bronze or stone have an opening in each pentagon and 20 small balls at the corners. The diameter of the holes can be both the same and different. Variants of hole diameters for one dodecahedron are up to four. The dimensions of the dodecahedrons themselves are from 4 to 11 centimeters. The device is designed to lie flat in any position. The multitude of pieces found speaks to the fact that they were once apparently widely distributed. Many of them were found among treasures, which speaks of their high value. The biggest mystery of what they were used for remains unsolved to this day. There is a lack of any documentation on the purpose of these artifacts. With time and research done, many theories and assumptions have emerged. Wax was found on one of the specimens, leading to the theory that it was used for lighting. Another theory is that it may be a surveyor, or device that determines the optimal time for sewing, a tool for calibrating pipes, and more. Archaeologists have proposed a total of 27 hypotheses and have not proven any of them. In the historical literature, for brevity, the abbreviation UGRO, Unidentified Gallo-Roman Object, is used. The most common theory is that Roman dodecahedrons were used as measuring devices, or more precisely, as rangefinders on the battlefield. It is assumed that it was used to calculate the trajectory of the projectiles, and this explains the presence of different diameters of the holes in the pentagons. Among the many theories, there is one that stands out. According to it, 
These objects refer not so much to the Roman conquerors as to the culture of the local tribes and peoples who inhabited the territory of Northern Europe and Britain in ancient times. It is possible that there is a direct connection between the dodecahedrons of the Roman period and the many discovered more ancient stone balls with regular polygons carved on them. Such balls have been dated to the period between 2500 to 1500 BC. They are found in Scotland, Ireland, and Northern England. Around the same time dates the erection of the famous megalithic complex, Stonehenge. For him, too, no one can say with certainty what his purpose was. The non-random placement of the giant stones, related to the cycle of the sun's movement, makes scientists believe that Stonehenge served not only for religious ritual rites, but also for astronomical observations. It is also possible that the small stone polygonal balls played the role of a home Stonehenge for the ancient inhabitants of Britain, embodying important spiritual ideas and secrets of the universe. Attempts to unravel the object continue today. The Mystery of the Sunken City of Heraklion Called Heraklion by the ancient Greeks and Tonus by the ancient Egyptians, the city was rediscovered in 2001 by the French underwater archaeologist Frank Godio. Six and a half kilometers from the coast, it's as if the myths of Atlantis come to life. The ruins of the sunken settlement are located 50 meters below the waters of the Mediterranean Sea in the Gulf of Abukir, the delta of the Nile River. Tonis, or Heraklion, is a city lost between myth and reality, as only a few references to it have been found in ancient texts. The Greek philosopher Herodotus wrote that Paris and the beautiful Helen visited Heraklion before the Trojan War. To this day, why the city sank remains a mystery. According to experts from Stanford University, Heraklion, like other cities in the same area, was hit by a tsunami following a very strong earthquake. According to Godio's team, the heavy stone buildings did not hold up, and this led to their collapse. Other theories speak of floods and landslides, combined with the gradual rise in sea level. Some of the underwater discoveries date back to the 2nd century BC, but this does not give an exact answer when the city was founded. Undoubtedly, its development reached its peak in the last years of the Pharaohic reign, when it became the main Egyptian port before the founding of Alexandria. The city was a rallying point from which trade with Greeks and Romans was conducted and foreign ships were controlled. It was a major trading center throughout the Mediterranean for nearly a millennium, after which it sank. Frank Godio first discovered a 150-meter wall surrounding a large temple. After that, city streets and a chapel are revealed, with the image of Amun-Ra, as well as the name of the city, Heraklion. The researchers also came across a gold plate on which is written in ancient Greek that King Ptolemy III founded or rebuilt this temple in honor of Hercules. Another plaque made of black granite explains that Heraklion is the Greek name, while Tonus is the Egyptian name of the city. It is believed that Tonus was an important religious center due to the numerous remains of temples and figures of gods that have been found. A temple dedicated to Osiris was discovered as well as numerous pink granite statues, three of which attracted the attention of researchers. They are colossal five-meter sculptures of exquisitely detailed workmanship, depicting an unidentified Egyptian pharaoh, the goddess of life, Isis, and the god of the Nile and fertility, Hapi. Located in close proximity to the Temple of Osiris, this speaks of its immense importance to this community. Numerous smaller bronze statues of gods and ritual implements were also discovered. Traces of Roman roots are found in a relatively small number of finds, such as statues of Zeus and his son, Konsu. Some architectural elements, jewelry, and coins also speak of a Byzantine presence. Thanks to the protective effect of underwater depth and sand, the authentic archaeological treasures are in perfect condition. To date, the remains of 64 different sunken ships have been recovered, coins from different eras, amulets, ornaments, and ceramics. Limestone sarcophagi with mummified animals in honor of the supreme Egyptian god Amun-Ra were discovered. One of the valuable discoveries for history are tablets inscribed with ancient Greek and ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, which shed light on previously unknown history. Statues believed to have adorned Cleopatra's temple were also discovered. According to calculations made by scientists, if they dive every day for 200 years, 
they will be able to explore and reveal the history of all the objects found. However, they say they still don't know what they are yet to discover. Their underwater work is sure to continue, as one of their latest discoveries are tablets with religious inscriptions that have yet to be deciphered. In conclusion, Godio says that there is certainly more to find, because the sea has once again proven that it can keep great secrets, and, above all, keep them in excellent condition even after 1200 years. We will be glad if you let us know in a comment about more mysterious discoveries. More similar videos you can find in our channel. Support us by sharing this video and subscribing to the channel.